So today I'm spinning in the grease. This is a fleece that I'm spinning and I just literally pull out a chunk. You can see where it's been cut off. I don't worry about vegetable matter. Just take a chunk like this. Um, it's a little too much, but I'll break it in half. Spread it along there. And I'm just going to open up the fibers. Uh, a lot of the dirt and stuff will fall out. I don't worry a whole lot about it. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it down and pulling up an angle. And just getting little fluffies, as I call them. And then once I do that, I literally just take and roll it off of here. And I may do four or five of these all at once. I'm not perfect with it. I just lay it down there. And of course, I'd start with another one. From here, I'm going to take it right over here. And I spin it. I've already got one on there. But pretty much, I just spin it. If a piece of vegetable matter comes up like that, I just pick it out and go on. Um, this is called spinning in the grease. So all that means is if there is linen on there, it's right from the sheath. And I just do so. Now this will be washed after it's spun. Spinning in the grease serves the purpose of putting lanolin between the twists. Lanolin is waterproofing. It's nature's waterproofing. So when it's spun in the grease, that lanolin locks between the twist of this and where it's applied back on each other. So making whatever you make with this a little bit more waterproof. So I will stop here and show you. When I get done, this yarn is going to look like that. Then all I have to do is um, wash it, and it will be ready to uh, use. Now, I tend to use a low lanolin fleece for this. Um, it's a Shetland that I'm spinning, and I really don't mind it. Uh, it doesn't have as much... Um, lanolin in it as most but it does make my hands feel super soft um, you can tell it doesn't really gunk up anything that you're doing um, I've had people tell me that they don't spin in the grease because it makes it yucky or it makes this dirty or whatever it does get your hands dirty because you've got lanolin and dirt okay so take a shower after you do this but for the most part this is a faded um, tip. Okay, you can see there's faded tips in there. Very natural looking uh, yarn and I like it. So we'll have some of this for sale at the Fiber Festival and I am one of the few people that will actually um, do your fleece in the grease if you want to. So um, yeah. Anyway, spinning in the grease. There it is.